for obvious reasons, I'm mostly going to be concentrating on the way that OCP will bid this. Um, if you're playing standard American or two over one, uh, if it seems relevant, I'll try and mention it. On the lot of hands, it probably won't make much difference. Okay, so so here, uh, OCP is going to open this hand with one club. Uh, if you're playing standard American or two over one, you might open it one diamond instead. Probably get a weak a weak jump over call of two hearts here. Um, so the question is, what does South bid here? Playing OCP, all they can really bid is either two no trumps or a positive double. I think I would support a positive double here because two no trumps does really promise something in hearts, which they don't have. Okay, so now if you're into Q bidding, uh, you can have a nice Q bidding sequence up to six spades, or South can just blast Roman key card. Um, I think I prefer the Q bidding route myself. Okay, any questions, comments? Anybody get to six spades here? I saw some people playing in three no trumps. Okay, hand two. Again, if you're going to, pl if you were playing, sorry, on this, on hand one, if you were playing standard American, you probably said you're probably going to open one diamond. You're still going to get a weak jump over call of two hearts, and probably a negative double now from south. Uh, after which you find the spade fit, and then somebody should be pushing. Certainly, north should be pushing. Uh, after the negative double. Yeah, just hang on a second. Can everybody hear me okay? Or can anybody hear me okay? All right, hand two. Okay, as long as somebody can. I know, know it's working my end. Um, okay, again, a one club opener with OCP. Uh, if you're playing standard American, you're probably opening it one spade. Um... OCB um, OCP will bid one spade with this west hand showing a balance positive um, okay um, playing asking bids east is going to ask in spades but if you're not playing asking bids then two spades is just natural and constructive given that we're in a game forcing auction by this point uh, if you're not playing asking bids west going to bid three spades at this point 
but if you are playing asking bids uh North probably doubling here to say they really do have diamonds. Yes, that's right, Summit. Um, it would just be the same, but one level higher. So now South has some options. Uh, sorry, East has some options rather. Again, if they're using asking bids, pass at this point would be asking about um, West's controls. So because redoubles available as something to show no controls, three hearts shows one control. Uh, we're using the weak beta scale here. Um, so now East knows that four spades is the limit of the hand. We're obviously missing two aces. And so you can just sign off in four spades. If you're playing standard American or two over one, it's going to go something like one spade, one no trump, three clubs four spades um, east might push over four spades it depends on how you play this principle of fast arrival um, uh, if three clubs is game forcing then four spades should be weaker than three spades so four spades is showing no ambitions towards slam whereas three spades is leaving more space open for Q bidding. Um, if you don't treat three clubs as game forcing, then uh, different rules apply, obviously. Anybody got any questions? Anybody get too high on this hand? You're all very quiet tonight. I know you can't speak, but you can type. <laughs> okay, hand three. Uh, here we have a one spade opener from south. Almost whatever system you're playing. Um, north south should have a fairly simple auction to seven spades here. Um, I suspect North is going to jump off the deep end. If you're playing standard American or two over one, you're probably going to get Roman key card immediately over the one spade bid. Um, OCP will take it a little bit slower. If you're not playing asking bids, then it's going to go slightly differently. This it's going to go something like one spade, two diamonds, three diamonds, and now North is a little bit stuck for a rebid, so they have to just invent three hearts as an advance cue bid. Um, South will now bid four diamonds. Uh, because they don't have a club stop. Um, but you should still now find your way certainly upwards beyond game uh, with such a good fit in two suits. 
But uh, again, if you are playing asking bids, two hearts is asking in spades. Um, two no trump shows five five to one top honor. Three clubs is asking about controls. Might get a double here from East. So now redouble shows naught to two. Pass shows three. Three diamonds and three hearts show four and five respectively. So So now, actually, it seems a bit illogical. Well, they're, they're actually going to ask in clubs, Paula. Um, they're just going to make an epsilon in clubs here. Yes, you could, you could use... I, I would say that actually north is too strong um, to use an exclusion beta, exclusion beta in, in clubs. They're, they're too strong. You're better off going via the one no trump and then gamma and so on. Um, but at this point, now they can, we've established how many controls South has. They've got two aces and a king or uh, they can't have three kings and an ace. So it must be an ace and two aces and a king. So the most efficient way is to actually ask in North Void, for North to ask in their Void, and that will tell them instantly how much wastage there is in clubs. So this is showing a doubleton or three to the Queen or even Queen X, but the point is from North's point of view, it tells North that there's no wasted controls in clubs. So now South is known to have the Ace of Spades, the King of Hearts, and the Ace of Diamonds. Um, and really, that's enough. They must have at least three diamonds. Um, to have bid, rebid two diamonds. Um, and seven spades is a pretty much a lay down apart from an opening diamond rough. Okay, any questions? Again, if you if you're playing standard American or OSOP, it's probably going to go something like. One spade, two diamonds, three diamonds, uh, three spades if you're playing two over one. Um, and now North South can start Q bidding and uh, Roman key carding their way up to uh, at least six spades, hopefully. But you should be able to get to seven spades here. Any questions, comments? Well, no, because you're going to get two two discards on on the diamonds, aren't you? If South is Barry, if South is five three three two, which is possible, you're going to get two discards on the diamonds. The only danger is that they they've got something like four hearts, in which case they would have rebid two hearts and not two diamonds, and avoiding clubs as well. That's really the only danger on this hand. Um, uh, and it's not very likely. Okay, so uh, South having 5332 isn't a problem. Um, you know, even if they've got four diamonds, three hearts, and a singleton club, you're still getting one discard in hearts on the long diamond. Um, which is enough. Okay. I 
and and the fact that all you've had is a, a single double of three clubs. Okay, the vulnerabilities restricting what East West can really do sensibly on this hand. Um, but the fact that all you've had is is a a double of the three club bids suggests that they haven't got that fantastic a fit. You know, if they had a seven six fit in clubs, I think you'd have heard about it by now. Um, okay, hand four. Okay, you're likely to get a one no trump opening, whatever system you're playing here, unless it's Akol. Um, Akol will be opening one club, uh, but OCP will be opening this hand one no trump, and anybody playing standard American or two over one will also be opening uh, one no trump. Uh, you're almost certainly going to get a two heart overcall or some kind of an artificial bid that shows a unspecified single suitor from north. Um, that's really too nice a heart suit to go quietly on at the two level. Um, so the question is now, how does East approach this? Um, we've dealt with Transfer 11 Sol earlier in this teaching series. Um, so East has a huge hand here. So I would suggest that three spades So this is always this is always a game forcing strong transfer to clubs. Um, because if East had a weak hand that just wanted to compete with clubs in clubs, they could just bid two no trumps. So three spades is always strong. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, I think South is sensibly going to pass this. Uh, uh, West is well placed here, so they're going to super accept by bidding four diamonds. Um, and now I think we're going to cube it a little bit. So here, five no trumps is a grand slam force um, wanting the ace king of clubs in the east hand. And of course, seven no trumps makes uh, at pairs you would want to be in seven no trumps. And it is safer. I suppose it's not inconceivable that um, there might be an opening spade rough. Uh, it's not likely to be won anywhere else. But in practice, reaching any Grand Slam is going to be a good score here. Um, again, your approach to the bidding on this hand may differ if you're not playing Transfer 11 Sol or if your Q bidding style uh, is slightly different. But here, we've, we've basically Q bid first and second round controls of all of the side suits. So the five no trump bid is the only thing left for West to check on just to make sure that East has the ace and king of clubs uh, for seven clubs. If they only had one, they would just bid six clubs. Okay, any questions or comments? Okay. Um... Oh no, no, no! Four, four, four diamonds is showing the ace of diamonds, definitely. I, I mean, the way that we we super accept is to cubit our our cheapest in in that sort of a sequence. If it was, you know, a question of a transfer um, to a minor, 
over a one no Trump opening, then we super accept in a different way. But where we're, you know, beyond three no Trumps, and it's definitely a game forcing sequence, which the three spade bid there was, um, then uh, we're Q bidding our cheapest ace to super accept, our, our cheapest side suit ace. Okay, Samet. So I think you're likely to get a, a two spade jump over call, weak jump over call here. Um, uh, and again, the way that you would approach this depends on whether you're playing asking bids, if you're playing OCP or not. If you are playing the asking bids, then south here with a, um, a really nice responding hand is likely to be bidding three spades, which is Which is, uh, which is asking in hearts. Um, uh, you might bid three spades, even if you're playing standard American or two over one. Uh, you know, it's going to be a strong game forcing bid in, in any system. That, uh, But in OCP, it's specifically asking about the length and quality of North's hearts. Um, I think West probably stay quiet even at this point um, so these are step responses um, the cheaper ones show shorter hearts or not as many top honors um, might get a double here which would be really nice because now south can just pass to ask about controls so now redouble would show naught to two controls uh, for no trump shows three and so five clubs will show four controls Uh, so we know that three of North's controls are the ace king of hearts because they've shown a six card heart suit with two top honors so they can't have the ace of spades and in practice their other control must be either the king of spades or the king of diamonds most likely the king of diamonds so if you if we want we can check uh, so five diamonds would be asking about north controls in diamonds. In practice, I think south is likely to bid six hearts over five clubs. Um, given the two spade bid and the double, it's much more likely that north got the king of diamonds than the king of spades. Um, okay uh, now the question is at this point West has kept quiet all this time but I think at this point uh, they would probably come in with a sacrifice of six spades um, it's not worth them doing that really unless North South bid the slam <coughs> um, but if East has got a weak jump over call West has absolutely no defense, and they've got far too many spades, even if it's only three, um, not to sacrifice at this vulnerability. Um, so six spades doubled is probably the par uh, result on this hand. Um, Six hearts is going to make comfortably, as you can see. Um, but uh, six spades is probably... Depends how the defense goes and how 
to Clara plays it, but potentially you could be one, two, three, four, five. You could be four off, but that's only eleven eight hundred, rather, which is cheap. Um, any questions, comments, observations? Okay, we'll press on. Hand six. Okay, I saw, I think a few people were either a bit rusty with OCP or um, just forgot. I saw a few uh, of these two diamond opening hands open with one club. Uh, OCP does not open 4441 hands uh, that are 16 plus with one club. Uh, OCP would open this with two diamonds. If you're playing two over one or standard American, you're going to open this one club. Um, West is going to bid one diamond. East is going to bid one heart. West is probably going to bid three diamonds and East is going to bid three no trumps. And uh, everybody's happy. Um, it's going to be slightly different with OCP. Um, we have a two heart relay from West. Um, two spades shows. Just hang a second. So now two no trumps, so two spades shows any 16 to 19 hand, so it's still any 4441 four, shape, but it's now limited to 16 to 19. Two no trumps ask where the singleton is, because we always bid the suit below, or normally bid the suit below. West is going to, sorry, East is going to bid three clubs to show a diamond singleton, um, and West is just going to make the common sense bit of three no trumps and that should end the auction uh, the scope for east west to go too high if west decides to uh, make assumptions about the number of controls that east has um, you could push on to six diamonds but knowing that east has a singleton diamond it's unlikely that east will have all three aces and the kings and that you're not going to lose a trump trick so three no trumps is just sensible here did anybody get too high on this hand i'll take that as a no <laughs> okay hand seven uh, another two diamond opening for OCP. Again, uh, if you're playing standard American or two over one, you're likely to be opening this one club, one diamond from north or one spade from north, um, and then some massive bid from south. But uh, um, you should comfortably find your way to at least six spades on this hand. Um, all right, go on, Summit. Ask away. Go on, Summit. Ask on. Sorry. This morning, I think you had some, yes. How can you still play with the B? Just take some more tomorrow. Yeah. Can I? No, we'll take some tomorrow. tomorrow. Yeah. Um, not sure how you mean, Samet. Ah, uh, right, yes. Um, sorry, I didn't realise what you mean. Uh, because I'm a teacher, and because I'm involved in running IAC, I'm still allowed to use the Windows client. 
but I'm expecting any day that they will turn that off for me as well. But uh, because I'm involved in running a club and they haven't sorted out all of the facilities for running a club in their browser version of BBO, um, people who are involved in clubs and teaching, I think, are still allowed to use it if they want. Okay, so uh, if South opens da two diamonds using OCP, North is too strong and has a two suited hand, so they're not going to bid the two hearts relay. Instead, they're going to use a two way transfer. So they're going to bid they're going to bid three clubs, which is a So this is either naught to four points or 14 plus with a two suited hand. Um, South is going to refuse the transfer um, and bid three hearts, which shows a singleton diamond. And now North has to show where their second suit is. And again, if you're playing asking bids, this is if you're not using asking bids, then this is just natural enforcing and set spades as trumps because we know we've got a four four fit in spades if South's got a singleton diamond and they're four four one four. No, I mean, Paula, North can decide to to uh, transfer into spades rather than diamonds if they want. But really, with 4-4, four, four, there's no particular reason to, to go, you know, if, if, she, if North had five spades and four diamonds or six spades and four diamonds, then yes, you would prefer the major. <coughs> but um, normally you would just transfer, make transfer into the cheapest possible suit, um, unless there's a very good reason not to. Okay. Uh, so four diamonds here is relay beta and or short beta. It just happens to coincide. Um, so now we're using the strong scale. So it's naught to four, five, six, seven. Um, so here, just bear with me. So now we know, North knows that South has a singleton ace of diamonds and that it's the diamond king that's missing. Um, and they've got to construct really a a hand that's in the 16 to 23 range for South um, that doesn't have either the Queen of Diamonds, sorry, the Queen of Hearts or the Queen of Clubs. And it's very difficult to do that. Uh, they could have the Jack of, they could have the Jack of Spades and not the Queen of Hearts. It's true. Um, but it's easy enough for uh, North to find out here. They just bid.
So six bays is showing first and third round control of hearts. And since north is no, sorry, south is known to have four hearts, that must be the ace queen. So now we know we know that there's a a parking spot for uh, the losing club if South doesn't have the Queen of Clubs as well. Even this needs a little bit of help. Um, there's nothing nice happening in clubs if you rough them good, but the King of Diamonds is onside. Sorry, Paula, over three hearts over what? Three hearts over two diamonds would be a two-way transfer to spades. So it would either be naught to four with spades and clubs. Uh, but in practice, it's more likely to be 14 plus with spades and something else. Okay. So seven spades leads a little bit. If you found your way to six spades, that's fine. I don't think uh, you could say that um, seven spades is lay down. Um, six spades is a perfectly good contract. Uh, if you get to seven spades, you're going to make it as long as you take the roughing finesse in diamonds. Okay, any questions? Yeah, but sorry, Paula, at what point are you asking about a three heart bid? What would three heart be three hearts now? Four diamonds from north and by. Sorry, I don't understand. What do you mean? Three hearts here in, in the sequence shown, Paula, three hearts is simply showing a singleton diamond. No, it's it, it, over over south three heart bid four diamonds is impossible because the the way that we we do this is that three clubs is either naught to four with either a, a five three three two or a four three 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 hand with diamonds or a touching two suitor with diamonds and hearts. Or it's a 14 plus two suitor with diamonds and something else. Then they, they don't bid three clubs. Okay. They would bid two hearts over two diamonds. They would wait for, um, or, or they would bid two spades to show a naught to four single suited hand over two diamonds. They wouldn't make the two way transfer if they had a six card diamond suit or a seven card diamond suit. Okay. Naught to four with long diamonds. You would you would bid two spades to show. An unspecified single suited hand. And now. Uh, opener would bid two no trumps with any 16 to 19 hand and now responder would bid their long suit and opener would probably pass but with 20 to 23 points sorry 16 to 21 they bid two no trumps 22 to 23 they would bid their shortage okay so it's a different different situation it's not that the, the two-way transfer is very specifically two particular kinds of hands um, it's either a 4333 hand with four card diamonds or a 5332 hand with five card diamonds and three card hearts nope can't pass two diamonds well systemically you can't pass two diamonds 
very dangerous to do it because you know even if you've got jack to seven diamonds and nothing else you can still construct hands for opener where six diamonds is lay down okay very dangerous to pass two diamonds it's not unknown but I wouldn't do it okay all right hand eight Um, I think West is probably going to open this two spades. Absolutely, Barry. I, it's just, uh, you know, like I said, it's not unknown for it to happen. I, I, I have seen an OCP pair do two diamonds pass, 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 and it worked out okay on that occasion. Um... But, uh, you know, if you got it wrong and you missed a slam, you would never forgive yourself. Okay, so what does East do here? Um, again, if you're, playing, if you're playing asking bids, you would bid three diamonds at this point, um, which would be asking in spades. Okay, Summit, thanks for coming along. Uh, thanks for sitting in for me. Uh, excuse my dogs, they're very badly behaved. Um, if you're playing standard American or two over one and you've got some different kind of gadgets available over week twos, uh, you'd probably be bidding two no trumps. And now West might bid three spades to show a, an upper range hand or four spades um, again OCP has slightly different methods uh, but you should still be um, getting to at least six spades on this I would say so three diamonds So, um, uh, because we've used Gamma and we, we know that West has got a six-card space suit, there's no way that three no-trumps is going to be bailing out. Uh, so, we would use three no-trumps as asking about controls. Um, So four clubs were shown no controls um, and four diamonds one, four hearts two and four spades is showing three controls. Um, so we know essentially that there's one king missing here. So East knows that West must have the ace of hearts and they've either got the king of hearts or the king of diamonds. Um, so they just want to find out which so now we know that West has got six spades to the queen, the ace of hearts, exactly king X in diamonds. That's what the six club bid is effectively showing because it can't be the king queen because East has got the queen. Um, so even if there is a losing club, the only thing that's going to stop seven spades here is... Uh, 
West having the singleton ace of hearts. So I think it's a a reasonable bet to bid seven spades. As long as there's a heart rough, they can't have more than three clubs and the third losing club in the west hand is going away on the queen of diamonds. Okay, any questions, comments, asks, observations, criticisms? Donations. Donations, no, not looking for donations. Okay, hand nine. Another two diamond opening for OCP in the north hand. Again, if you're playing standard American or two over one, you're going to be opening this with one club or one diamond or maybe even two clubs because it's a very strong hand. Um, OCP will tend to discount the king of hearts initially. Uh, so we would really treat this as a 21 count rather than a 24 count. Um, okay, so how does South bid here? They're going to bid two spades to show a single suited hand and not to four points. So it can be any suit the two spade bid. Um, okay. Uh, North is going to have a pretty good idea that South is single suited with hearts here. Um, so they're going to tend to bid So this is something called Oliver's Twist. Um, so this is showing a maximum two diamond opener with a singleton heart. Um, now what does South do? Uh, they're just going to bid four hearts. If North is maximum, even if it's a small singleton in hearts, they're going to lose two hearts. But with 22 to 23 points split between... Um, clubs, diamonds and spades, it's very difficult to construct a north hand where you're going to lose much outside the heart suit. Okay. Um, think about it. 22 to 23 points in three suits is going to be something like ace, king, ace, king, ace, king, or ace, queen, jack. Um, uh, you're not going to have you're unlikely to have any losers outside the heart suit if, South, if North has a small singleton in hearts. So it's no problem for South to just bid the game anyway, despite the fact that um, if, if South had a long suit not in hearts, they would just bid it at this point at whatever level because they know they've got at least a 10 card fit in their trump suit. Um, and knowing that north is maximum, it's inconceivable that we're, it's almost inconceivable that we're not going to make t at least 10 tricks in whatever suit it is, even if south has almost nothing. Um, but at this point, with, with south having a self-sufficient heart suit, seven card heart suit, uh, four hearts is an obvious bit. Any questions? So four hearts is totally natural. It just shows long hearts. It's not beta or anything else because South has already shown a naught to four hand. It's inconceivable they're going to start looking for a slam if they are naught to four. Okay. Uh, hand ten. This caused a few uh, uh, ructions, I can see. OCP is going to open this east hand with two no trumps. Um, so 
So in OCP, this is weak with both minors or intermediate with both majors, or it's a club preempt. Um, obviously, South can be fairly certain exactly what East has. They've either got clubs or both minors. Um, so South might well bid three hearts here, and I saw uh, at least one South bid three hearts. Um, West, at this vulnerability, probably keeps quiet at this stage. Although, again, when uh, South bids three hearts, they can be fairly certain that East has a weak hand with both minors, or they've got a club preempt. So a bit of five clubs at this point would put the cat amongst the pigeons a little bit, make life a bit tougher for North-South. But suppose they pass. North just has to take charge now. Um, uh, North is in quite an awkward position here. But if South has got the sort of hand that can make a heart overcall over two no trumps. Um, it's quite difficult to construct. Uh, again, North can be absolutely certain that East has both minors or clubs um, and a weak hand. And uh, South is actually about as minimum as they can be for a three heart overcall. They're likely to be stronger than they are. So if you're not playing asking bids, you're probably going to get Roman key card at this point um, or a Q bidding sequence. Uh, we'll go with Roman key card on this occasion. So we've got both minor suit aces and the queen of hearts. Um, Did anybody bid to seven hearts here? Unlucky if you did, because you're only getting uh, one diamond away on the fifth spade. Uh, you've always actually got an inescapable diamond loser in the north hand. You can't get rid of the th two diamonds. Um, so six hearts is, is the way to go here. Uh, you can't get further than that. Any questions? And again, if if West decides to sacrifice in seven clubs, uh, seven clubs plays pretty well for East West. Um, you've really only got three losers. So seven clubs is a really good sacrifice. And to be honest with you, uh, if I was sitting west, I would be sacrificing with seven clubs. Um, and that's cheap. You know, that's only going for 800 against six hearts, 1430. Um so it's a very cheap sacrifice. And it's easy for West because whether East has clubs, a club preempt, or both minors, they've got to have clubs. Um, okay. Uh, where are we? Hand 11. Okay, again, OCP is going to open this with two no trumps. One of the options of which is 11 to 15 with exactly 5-5 five five in the majors. Or it can be 5 to 9 with at least 5-5 five five in the minors or a club preempt. Um, North is going to bid four clubs 
which is an unbalanced game force um, unconditionally forcing on south to show their hand type um, south is going to bid four diamonds to show both majors and now five clubs Four no trumps here would be, uh, sorry, just hang on a minute. Sorry. Um, yeah, so here, four no trumps would be asking in hearts and five clubs is, is asking in spades. Um, so now we, we know we've got spades agreed. Okay, so because South is known to have exactly a five card suit, this is the length known gamma scale. So South is going to bid six clubs uh, to show two top honours and the jack uh, in spades. And I think at this point, opposite um a uh, an 11 to 15 opener i think north will realize that they're um already pushing pushing the boat out a little bit so they're just going to bail out in six spades um you know in theory six diamonds here would be asking about controls um and south is actually going to bid six spades to show three controls but they might bid six no trumps and you could still be missing um, the ace of diamonds so you wouldn't want to be doing that uh, so north is likely just to bid six spades okay any questions okay if you're playing uh Standard American or two over one on that hand, you're likely to be opening the south hand with one spade and then possibly a four diamond bid. Um, should be fairly simple to reach six spades uh, with such a good responding hand with north. They're likely to splinter uh, with four diamonds um, and it's fairly simple to reach six spades at that point. Okay, last hand. Uh, I saw a few north-south pairs buy this very cheaply. Um, okay. Probably got a one club opener from west playing OCP. Um, you're going to open this with one club almost whatever system you're playing. Um, South is going to bid some large number of spades here. Uh, given the vulnerability, I'm not sure I would venture too too high too quickly, but two spades seems about typical at uh, unfavorable vulnerability. Um, OCP is now going to pass. here to ask about hearts um, 
we use double and pass as asking bids. Um, the pass is always asking about partner suit if they've shown one. You're likely to get a bit more interference from North, I would say. Again, I, North South have to be a little bit careful um, because of the vulnerability. Uh, if North bids four spades, that's fine. Um, but uh, you could be going 800 against a hand, uh, an East West pair of hands that can only make game, which is not a good sacrifice. So, oh, sorry, I misclicked there. Sorry. Again, redouble and pass over three spades are both responses that we would use. Uh, so four clubs is showing a six card heart suit with one top honor. Now relay beta. Now the question is, does West continue over four hearts? I would suggest that they should. If uh, North South are competing in spades at this vulnerability, it's much more likely that East has got the King of Diamonds uh, than not uh, if they've got two controls. Um, even if they've only got one control, uh, West's hand is just too nice here. Uh, we're playing with about a 30-point deck. Um, so I think West should, should make a little bit more, uh, knowing that the hearts are absolutely solid. The only real danger is that East has three small clubs um, So six clubs, five clubs is asking what degree of control East has in clubs. Five hearts shows third round control. Six club is asking again, asking what kind of third round control. Um, and now six spades is showing exactly Queen X in the suit. I know it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter how many diamonds East has, uh, even if they've got, well, they can't have seven card diamonds. Um, even if they've got five card diamonds, all the losing diamonds are going away on the long clubs. Um, so, again, North has kept quiet to this point, and they might decide. Uh, it's unlikely at this uh, vulnerability, but they might decide it's worth bidding seven spades. But uh, they're going to lose two hearts, two diamonds, two clubs. <laughs> Sorry, one, one heart, two diamonds, two clubs. So seven spades is going to be 
Uh, five off. Hmm. One, two, three, four, five. I can only see. I, I think five. Minus five. Um, so. Two, five, eight, eleven, fourteen hundred. It's still cheap. So really, that is what North should be bidding. Um, what a seven spade sacrifice, Michael. Yeah, well, it's a good it's a good sacrifice, but it's it's worth waiting. It's worth north south waiting um, to see whether east west. Ah, right. Okay. Uh, seven hearts is a good contract. You should be getting there. Um, but seven spades is a good bid if you find it. I saw a couple of north south pairs buy this in four spades, not doubled. Um, which is very, very cheap. Okay, just bear with me a second, guys. Uh, alrighty. Um, I hope you enjoyed the hands. We'll call it a night there. Uh, next week's OCP session is uh, starting on the asking bids, so we've given you a taster of some of them tonight. And uh, 